hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven you in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something very interesting we'll show you how you can move um, your google Earth image to autocad then align it and then maybe to reference it that will now help you generate the special attributes of that image and you can proceed with them whatever you want to do like whatever information you want to get from it so yes thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are returning viewer thanks for always um, checking up on us so we are still we so much are uh, in um, anticipation right yeah we are so much um, eager we are waiting for the World Cup, so we are still using um, the stadiums of um, the Qatar 2022 World Cup, right? So we are using um, the Lucial Stadium, which is actually the, uh, yeah, it's actually the art stadium, let's say. The stadium where most of the matches will be played, especially the final. So we are trying to save this image. Yours can be anywhere, maybe your school, your work environment, the field that is empty, anywhere on Google Earth. Because it's actually a repository where you can get as many information as you want, right? Good. So we are using this particular image. So the first thing is that um, you go towards the search icon and then you search for wherever you want to go to, right? Good. And then it navigates to that particular location. Then you now put in or let's say you place or you add, yes, you now add some place marks, right? So the place marks will serve as your GCP. Let's say you are using your, should I call it um, UAV or maybe US or whatever the case is, and then you fly over this particular area. At least you would need them um, some ground control points, right? Which will now help you orient or let's say, yeah, which will help you with your reference. So that's what we are trying to do. So um, these um, our place marks will serve as our GCPs on ground, which we are going to use for the alignment or, yes, say for the aligning on AutoCAD. So this point one, we just um, try to copy out the coordinates of point one and then um, paste it on Notepad, right? Good. So we have um, that of um, point A, right? Good. So we can just um, decide to OK that. Then we can place another one around, um, let's say, this other end, you know, just somewhere around just to make this one let's say point two or b right good so if you already have some gcp or maybe some notable points on your image you might not want to do this we are doing this because we don't have any notable points on the image that we have the coordinate so we are using this to actually orient ourselves or to do what we are using this to orient ourselves so we have what two points and i think um, that's enough for this particular exercise so we click on ok so we have our two gcps and then we have our area of interest so we now just do a little modifications so you go to view under reset you click on what um, tilt and compass right good now you might not be able to see your other point you can just um, try to just adjust it let's see that again review reset um, tilt and compass good so good we are good to go we can now decide to what save this image to our preferred location so we go to what we go to file we go to save and then we go to what save image right good now under the map options you might have your title legend and some other map um, information highlighted you can decide to remove them because you would not really need them right so you uncheck them and you only have the the bar map then for the resolution depending on the resolution that you want let's go with the current you can decide to increase it to the maximum or any other higher what higher resolution right good so if you're good with all of these other settings you can see your two gcps and then you just click on what save image Good, so we are actually working on a folder called um, GE2CAD and let's give it a name TTTT. <laughs> Please pardon, pardon my file name. So let's just um, save that to that folder. 
good it has been saved right so we've actually saved our what our google earth image let's say while you're working on your own um, google earth you've not actually changed your coordinates to utm and yours is indicating the minute and seconds you can just rightly come down towards tools and you go towards options and then options you now go towards utm and ensure that your unit of measurement is actually in meters and what or meters or kilometers right good and then you click on apply and okay because it's very very important we are now going on autocad or let's say we go to autocad to, what, to assess it right good so we are on autocad now let's check our units that's um, un that's the shortcut right good now decimal precision it might not really be important but um, just for the sake of um, clarity the other important thing is what your inches sorry your insertion skill you ensure that it's in meters right and then your direction you can decide to change it to not if you want it okay all right so the first thing on autocad is that um since the unit has been set we need to what, plot those um two gcps or let's say those two points that um, we picked from google earth right good so they serve as our gcp as we said earlier and we've actually formatted them in form of what eastern command northern so we just copy it and then we select the points to and then we what we paste those two points right then you hit enter so for us to see the points we want we use them to make extent right so z enter e enter right good so we have our two points here you can see them this is one and then this is the other right however the the style of the points are not okay so i can come to formatting then go to what point styles you can use them different things you can decide to use them a circle or maybe any other shape but we are plotting those points and then we are trying to modify the style right so we click on ok so we have um, something bigger right good we have something bigger so since we have our two gcps plotted we can now what insert our raster image so you click on insert and then you select what raster image reference good so you navigate to the folder where you would have saved your images and then we have our image on what G, yeah g to card right so just click on what you open we don't have much to do here we just click on what okay then we specify where we want our image to be so let's keep it like this and i think we are going to do if it's too small we can just select and what still extend it a bit bigger right good so we have something like this so we have what our raster and then we have those two points that we have as our gcp right now the next thing is for us to use the tool or the command call them align so you type align on your keyboard and then you hit what enter then the next thing is what according to the instruction um, we have to what according to the command we have to what select the object and the object is actually the raster so you just click on the edge right and then you hit enter again so the, the next instruction is for us to specify the first source point and the first source point is what our point a right so you try to zoom as much as you can to get to the tip of that pin then when we've done that we should now select what specify the first destination point that's what our gcp right good so we are trying to take it to the center so we just ensure that um, it's fairly on the center now if we had used um, another figure it would have been a bit easier so we have our center there then we want to specify what the second source point which is what b right good so that's b then the destination is what this particular um, point style or let's say this particular point here right good so we try to match it on the intersection or something so we have that there so we have our two points have been fixed right so we can decide to continue so we just click on what enter then the next thing is what um scale object based on alignment yes so we just click on y and we say enter so we have what we have our points we have our image aligned right so for you to confirm that just escape and what zoom extent so we have the image aligned or let's say you referenced right good 
so with this you can use this particular image from google Earth to do whatever you want to do on autocad right so maybe you can just um, zoom into some locations you can decide to maybe know the area you can decide to know the distance apart let's say you want to know the distance from this particular stadium or let's say yeah, this particular point of the stadium to a particular junction let's say this point you know the idea is for you to use the short course that's um, the idea as the stance, right so you just um, select this point and then you select the ending point so you should be able to see the distance that um, is between them we have what 1841 that's about two kilometers right good so you can also know the area maybe the extent covered you know can still decide to so let's say we have area right we are using the shortcut area so let's say you want to know the area of this um of this particular place we just know that this is for right good so now let's hit enter you now see you have an area very big so the applications you have for your referencing or let's say aligning the image is actually enormous so you can start maybe saving out or let's say yeah saving out layers maybe creating layers for each of these features yeah so there are so many things you can choose to do or maybe decide to do since the points have been yeah since the image has been aligned and let's say you reference you know you are now what you are good to go and then you can actually use it for for whatever purpose so as you can see when you over your mouse around the image the coordinates are now what in conformity with this particular what one and two that we have what we have used from the beginning so when you try to select no we are not trying to select the whole image let's see if we can just select the point you now see that there's a point selected there and there's another point selected there so you can decide to delete them if you don't need them again and you only have what your image that is what perfectly georeferenced or perfectly aligned from what from google Earth. so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope that um, we've shown you how you can save the image um, from google Earth and also how you can let's say import it to um, autocad and use the align tool or the align command and you know try to get your image in the right position on it right so if you have um, any question regarding this if you have any comment you can what leave it on the comment section and we are going to get back to you if you want us to help you out on something do not forget to send us a mail to the address displayed on the screen right now so we'll see you on the next video until then keep staying safe and keep having a good time bye